It's the mat work. Um, so I've been like doing a lot of projects or in the works of a lot of projects and I kind of want to give my audience like an insight on the progress that I make and stuff like that. Like kind of like vlogging the journey and documenting it in a sense. But at the same time, I don't want to give out too much because it's like the music being created, like me recording the demos, the lyrics. I used to back in the day, used to go live and write music and show people the process. But now I'm more, I don't know, self-conscious in a sense. And I don't want to sh show people that, but I'm trying to like show people something without giving out too much away where the song is, you know, it becomes repetitive or anything before it even comes out in a sense. So basically you're afraid of promoing yourself or giving too much away. But, but, but you got to realize, man, you're, you basically just defeated the purpose of what a lot of promo looks to do. Right. Like you're ba you basically just said, I'm afraid of people hearing the song and memorizing the song and them not being able. And when it comes out, them already knowing it. But I don't even know when it's like, from the looks of it, like I'm working on like three different songs at the same time. In the you don't know when. And that's just going to be an Easter egg for people who are your fans and actually watch that process and carry on throughout that process. Can I go? Can I? I will, yeah, go ahead. Uh, about the promoing early, um, Playboy Cardi, his um, Pissy Pamper song got leaked, right? And like for months and months. Like people are just listening to that song, listening to that song. When it actually came out, it's he still got like his same amount of traction. Uh, he still got like really good engagement with that song. Like people really like I still really fuck with that song, no matter how long it's been. So I wouldn't say be afraid to like promo yourself before it happens, even though you don't know you don't have a set deadline. Mm -hmm. There it is. Like it it doesn't have the effect that you think it is. A lot of times we over overanalyze that the, the biggest things that you get from a music industry standpoint where they really look at it as a negative thing is they don't have full control over all the assets the way it's going out which means they can't monetize it how they like to right but that's why i try to encourage artists to really consider where they're getting their information from or the perspective from and it doesn't mean it's coming from a wrong perspective but it's just like okay if this is what i'm hearing from this type of media and these type of artists why what do they care about well if they're working if they're with these labels labels they're measuring different things they're measuring i'm trying to get up the charts right they're measuring did we get the return on all the money we um we, we put out right now you know, you're more than likely measuring how many people actually listen to this song, like this song, and want to become my fan because of this song. You're thinking a lot less about that other stuff that comes from, oh, I can control where it's heard, how it's heard, and all that stuff. So you, you, your concerns about the, the leakage, or, well, it wouldn't be necessarily a leak, but like that promo, that super early promo is, is different because the consumption is going to be going to be similar especially at your level by the time you put it out and when you actually put energy about it is you're probably gonna have way more people here that never heard it before it's, it's not like you are playboy carter yet where people are just gonna find out you got a leak and then check it out so i wouldn't i wouldn't over concern myself about that and because it's a documentary type process um that you're talking about i'm going to hear the song i'm going to hear pieces of the song but and so it's going to get me familiar with the song, but I'm not going to be pushing replay on your damn documentary just to get the little snippet again, again, and again. So it'll create the familiarity, but it's not going to likely tire people of the song. You get what I mean? Yeah.